Hey again, it's Dr. Dan, president of FAI, and I'm here with Laura Wilson from PowerPlate, and we're gonna talk about this certified medical device and bone density. So I wanna talk about osteoporosis, osteopenia, and, and just the consideration of how do we maintain our bone density as we age. So tell us, is this a great device for people with osteoporosis, maybe with osteopenia, or even people just concerned about maybe losing their bone density with age? Yeah, absolutely. It goes all the way back to the 60s, when whole body vibration really originated, and that was the, one of the first things they discovered, that by standing on top of a platform that was moving, you could maintain bone density and muscle mass. Now, fast forward to power plate here, you know, in 2020, and we know the stats, one in three women, you know, are, are diagnosed with osteoporosis, osteopenia, and one in seven men, actually, yeah. Uh, we often don't think of that. For, right, we for forget men about as well, the guys. But, it's not um, just the women. Yeah, so what we can do is studies have shown that as, as little as just 10 minutes, three times a week on the power plate can reverse that. Not just reverse it, but they will no longer be diagnosed with osteoporosis and osteopenia. So there are multiple studies that have shown, you know, it, between the controlled groups, that it was again 10 minutes three times a week. Yeah, so take us back to the, the sort of the space, the, the NASA, the cosmonauts. The, so people come back from space and they have osteoporosis. It's like, yeah. wait, they got old fast. They, they lost bone. How do we recover that? So if astronauts can recover, if they can improve bone density, I think the science is telling us anyone right. can potentially anyone. do that. Absolutely. Again, you know, that was in the 60s and and the, the machines that we were using then compared to what sure. we have here on the power sure. play has been enhanced significantly as like you know as you just can't compare apples and oranges so science from then to now we can do it so much more effectively and basically pain-free without jumping without doing things that sometimes we couldn't do if we're diagnosed with osteoporosis or osteopenia so in a very safe environment and in a very short amount of time, it doesn't, you know, it's not an hour every day that you have to be working right, right. to improve that or even reverse the effects of that bone loss. Yeah, 10 minutes, a couple times a week. I know on your website, you have a list of research studies that have yes. been documenting vibration training for over 20 years now. Yeah. Um, I don't know why we don't talk about it more, honestly. I don't know why physicians don't recommend it more. Yeah. I and mean, if you have an osteopenia, client or diagnosis, you should be looking for one of these machines in your market and asking your trainer why they don't have one. Like it's, right. it's time that you get one at your facility um, because we can turn this around. Osteoporosis is not a normal part of aging. No, it's uh, not. It's it doesn't really, have to be. Right. It it's really to due to lack of use. It's lack of stimulus to the bones and the joints, just like those people that go up in space. They don't yeah. have gravity. So what we want to do is introduce gravity 30, 40, 50 times a second. Yep. Do that over 10 minutes. It's basically like hyperdosing on gravity, right? Yes, so your bones exactly. say, your bones basically say, hey, we have to respond to that, right? Yeah, so we have definitely. to create the stimulus to regrow bone. So super safe piece of equipment. Uh, it's actually very affordable when you think about the cost of osteoporosis and right. Even the just limiting the factors. medication alone, right. the medication, if you were diagnosed with that disease is, is exponential. So yeah. it's, and the fact that you can reverse it because the other thing you're kind of accepting if you decide to go the medication route is that I'm just going to live with this. Right, right. And that doesn't have to be the case. I'm going to do the you... best I can to maintain where I'm at. Yeah. And probably limit some of my activities because, yeah. oh, if I fall, I could break a hip or something right. else. So so let's work on rebuilding our client's bone density. Let's work yeah. on rebuilding their functional uh, longevity and, and ability. So, again, Laura, thanks for what you're doing at PowerPlate. Uh, we got to continue to educate the, the medical and the fitness world on this great piece of equipment, especially when it comes to osteoporosis. Yeah.